All right, so in the last video, I have shared about the function to call, and in this video, we're gonna continue it with the function to row that can help you to combine two different rows in one single row. This function can also help you to clean data or you know to rearrange data. So let's get started and understand how this function can actually help you in your work. All right, so here I have two rows with numbers from 1 to 6 and 7 to 12. And when I enter the two row function, in the first argument, it asks me to select the array. So this array is basically the row 1 and row 2, the range A1 to F2. And in the second argument, it asks me what kind of values I want to ignore, if I want to ignore blank cells or if I want to ignore errors. But I want to keep all the values. And now it asks me how I want to combine these two rows. So I will go by scan by row. And now the moment I hit enter, it combines both of the rows starting from the first row 1 to 6 and then second row 7 to 12. Now here I have same data, same numbers, but here I have in a different format. So first I have 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, 6 and so on. And now when I enter two row function, select the array, again, keep all values. And now what I'll do here, I'll instead of going by rows, I will go by column. And now when I hit enter, it combines first cell A1 and then A2 and then goes to the second column starting from B1 and then B2 and then C1 and C2 so on so forth. So these are the two ways to use this function and this function is super helpful when you actually want to combine data from multiple rows into one single row. And make sure to watch the video that I have shared previously on the two column function that will also help you to combine multiple columns into one single column. So that's it for this video. I hope you found this function super useful and make sure to subscribe to this channel because I'll be coming out with a lot of cool Excel tips and tricks in coming weeks.